Now today, May 1st, has historically been known as National College Decision Day. Decision Day is when first year applicants commit to college and is the deadline to decide on the school. But this year, due to financial aid issues with FAFSA, many schools have pushed their decision day deadlines back. Our Maren Morgan spoke to two financial aid departments in the East about the problems. She joins us live this morning. Good morning, Merritt. What do we know or what do the issues look like with FAFSA in our area? Good morning, Jason. East Carolina University and Pitt Community College financial aid department directors tell me the FAFSA issues many are experiencing are due to a new FAFSA application rollout that caused major delays in getting applicants correct information to schools. Now, though financial aid professionals do say FAFSA was due for an update, the new software is causing more of a headache than help. The college administration process, an already stressful time, but now with the added headaches of a new FAFSA or the free application for federal financial aid form. Concerns of schools, parents, and students are rising. We are very upset that we cannot provide the service mm -hmm. that we're used to providing and in the time frame that we're used to providing it. Financial aid directors I spoke to say many factors play a role in the FAFSA issues. There's the out front facing student form that had some of its own issues, which a lot of them have been resolved. But then there's the data piece that's being transferred over from the IRS and they were data transfer issues. Mm -hmm. Then there's the output that the schools actually receive, which is the third portion, and that has its own set of challenges too. Historically, May 1st has been National College Decision Day. But due to the delays caused by FAFSA problems, many schools have extended their deadlines. It is May 15th according to the admissions website. However, I suspect that we'll continue to be flexible as needed. Um, obviously, we need people to make some decisions by the 1st of June so that we know how many students we'll have in the class and we'll hold a seat for you. Poor man and Bray say the Department of Education is working to solve the problems after the FAFSA form wasn't available to students until January, nearly three months later than usual, as the kinks are still being ironed out. Those I spoke to say it's important for students and parents to know financial aid professionals are doing their part. Keep your options open, but don't be too frightened, yeah. right? We're going to do everything we can do to get that award to you as quickly as we can. That's what we're here and we're all learning this process together. It's new for us as financial aid professionals. It's new for the students. So I feel like we're all in this together. Working together to provide the education students strive for. Though ECU has extended their decision deadline, PCC and other community colleges are different. Bray says they don't have admission deadlines and encourage students to keep their options open as the timeline on when financial aid programs will come out is still up in the air. Jason. All right. Thanks, Merritt.